Hey everyone, this is a quick announcement video because I am super excited to share with you. I'm hosting yet another Capture the Flag, a CTF training exercise that you can participate in. Anyone can participate in. It's open the world, open the internet, and it any skill level can participate. We have challenges for beginners, intermediate, advanced players. Hopefully, there'll be something fun and something enjoyable and something that you can learn from and educate yourself, get smarter, practice and sharpen your skill set. I'm super excited to be hosting B-Sides Boston CTF or B-Sides Boss CTF in association, kind of collaboration and work with B-Sides Boston Security Conference. If you're interested, it's another classic B-Sides so cybersecurity event, it's another conference. Uh, due to the current world situation, if you were to Google them online, they are happening virtually this year. It'll be online, but it'll still be a ton of fun. So please, please, please mark your calendar for Saturday, September 26. If you wanna participate in the conference or if you wanna participate in the Capture the Flag, that's all happening that day. The conference itself is doing some really, really cool stuff. They've got a ton of stuff going on. They have a lot of villages, a lot of different activities. You can go check them out online. Uh, I'm really flattered. They actually kind of mentioned me in a little note in the villages section. Uh, the capture the flag is being hosted by our dude, John Hammond. So I uh, appreciate that, guys. Thank you. <laughs> but September 26th, it's going to run from 9 a.m. Eastern time to 5 p.m. Eastern time. And that means it's going to be kind of a short competition. It's only going to be a day, eight-hour competition, a little bit of a sprint. So... We're doing a couple different things. We're using this opportunity to experiment and try some new stuff with the way that we host capture the flag competitions. So classic rules page, right? This looks the same as all the other capture the flag events we've put together, I've put out for you. The classic, hey, don't brute force flags. You don't need to use automated scanners. Don't attack the infrastructure or other players. Please don't cheat, don't share flags, etc. cetera. Uh, classic flag format, and we'll be hanging out on my Discord server in case you need any support or maybe there are just technical issues as a challenge down, or you just wanna hang out, send memes like we do. So that'll be a lot of fun, but what we're doing different with this capture the flag competition is that we're going to try first of all i i'm logged in as my admin account right now so if you were to register or create an account you wouldn't be able to see these challenges yet you got to wait you got to wait until september 26th at this time when everyone does that f5 flood and <laughs> The challenges here are going to be using dynamic scoring. So there's not going to be a static point value assigned to every single challenge and what you solve. Uh, as more people solve a challenge, the point value will decrease. That helps us and me and the, the content creators here, the, the educators, we're trying to bring some awesome training to you. It, it helps us solve the problem of not knowing or not having a good grasp or not, uh, not exactly understanding what the audience will see as difficult or easy. So the challenges that more people solve will slowly decrease or decay in value. So the ones that remain the harder, more difficult challenges that have less solves will have more points associated with them. So we're gonna be trying out dynamic point value and dynamic scoring in this case, because we got a lot of feedback that, hey, it didn't make sense for this 50 point challenge to be much, much harder than whatever uh, 250 point challenge. So we wanted to try this and experiment with it, see how you guys like it, see if you have an interest in that. And alongside the dynamic point, dynamic scoring that we're doing, we're trying out a new infrastructure technique so that every player has their own individual instance or their own specific container to be interacting with when they're working with a, a dynamic, active, changing challenge. So it's kind of really cool. You go over to this deployment tab over here and you'll go ahead and start a challenge. And then you'll be given either a link, HTTP, to go to a web challenge or a Netcat thing or something to download or whatever the case may be. And you'll have this syntax that just as you see regularly, but we can go ahead, open up a terminal and I will go ahead and connect to this, just slap it in. And it says, okay, now I'm in my shell. So I can LS, I can look around, I can kind of see what I'm working with here and try to solve this challenge. But this instance might be specific to me, the player, or you, the individual that's going to work with that specific challenge. So that helps us because we don't have to deal with as many people trying to vandalize and break the challenges and remove the flag and leave artifacts that they shouldn't. And we also have a, some shared instances or some shared containers that are still going to be read only. So they'll still be accessible by everyone, but uh, you won't be able to write anything or 
do anything bad and nefarious because we don't want that. We're trying to lock this down and make it the best uh, educational learning experience that we can offer. So we're really excited about this kind of new roll your own or create your own, your specific custom instance dedicated to you. That's going to be a lot of cool, a lot of cool fun stuff along with these dynamic point values and dynamic scoring. We're, we want to test the water and see how you guys like that. We want to learn from this. We are super excited to be able to offer some prizes to the winners of the B-Sides Boston Capture the Flag event. If you take first place, you'll get one year of Hack the Box Pro Labs access. Second place, you'll get six months. And third place, you get three months. We're super excited about that. We're thankful that Hack the Box is willing to put those out for the B-Sides Boston Security Conference. And on that note, I have to offer a little bit of a notice or disclaimer for these prizes. So... We wanted to make this capture the flag open and accessible to everyone, right? And the mentality, philosophy, the mindset of CTF, we wanted this event to be, we wanted this CTF to be open and available for anyone in the world. And we didn't want any cost or monetary value associated with that. We didn't want you to have to buy something to be able to participate in this capture the flag. The B-Sides Boston Conference, however, is, is put on by an organization and they need funding to do their organization stuff. So there is a slight cost to attend the conference, but you still get all the perks of being able to hey, hang out with everybody, listen to all the talks, enjoy the speakers, enjoy the villages. Gimmick with the CTF is that if you win, if you take one of these first place, second place, or third place positions, you have to be registered for the conference in order to claim your prize. We're doing that to kind of, hey, foster some growth within the conference, foster some growth within the community. And if you really, really want that prize and you happen to take first place, just you can purchase a ticket. It helps support the event. If you happen to take first place, second place, or third place, if you happen to place in the uh, capture the flag where you would be given a prize and you aren't registered for that B-Sides Boston Conference, we'll have to kind of go down the list and check out the scoreboard and leaderboard to see the next person in line that is registered for the conference and we'll end up giving them that prize. So, hey, just kind of, this is what we wanted to do with the B-Sides Boston Conference. So please do support, come hang out and we'll be grateful for that. And that way you can win your prize if you take first place. So second place, third place, enjoy. All right, so registration is user-based. Uh, you can log in as just or register, create an account as a team or as an individual. You can play solo if you want, or you can work as a team. But if you go ahead and do that, then you'll have to share that an account. You'll have to work with that individual or your friends or your team to kind of consolidate all on one account to use and operate as your team. If you register, create an account, it will go ahead and send you an email. And that way we've got, hey, confirmation that you are who you say you are. And we can, I don't know, allow you to change your password really easily without bugging any of the admin. So that's a great thing. And we'll get excited to see you on September 26th, 9 a.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern. You can register for the game right now. It's online at bsidesboss.ctf.games. So Thanks so much, everybody. I hope you'll come out and play. I'm really, really excited to put this together. I'm really excited about all these kind of things that we're trying and seeing how we can better our experience putting this event on. But I'll see you there. Come hang out.